The sea is many things. It's my source of peace. It's kind of like a home to me. I'm very passionate about the environment, particularly the sea. I grew up uh, by the sea and it's where I feel at most at peace and at home. I changed my passion to purpose by joining the Environment Agency of Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I've always had a passion for the environment, especially when I was a child. I, I loved animals, I loved taking care of animals, I also loved nature, walks, diving, swimming, fishing, anything that, uh, that helps me interact with nature. I just enjoyed it and I wanted to do more of it, so that's why I got into this field. When I joined the Environment Agency, I actually wanted to be uh, more focused on fisheries because that was my hobby and that's what I was very interested in. But uh, when I joined the agency around 2017, there was uh, a mass bleaching event. It's basically when corals uh, uh, lose their color, go pale and they die due to, in this case, 2017, due to high temperature. And uh, for me that highlighted, or like I visually got to see the effects of climate change right in front of my eyes. So it's almost like uh, the whole sea is dying. Or like you could compare it to a forest fire underwater. That really affected me in a way that I really needed to do something or wanted to take a bigger role in trying to preserve this environment. The best thing about going out to the field, and even though I've been doing it for many years now, I always get to learn new things. I always, as a scientist, I like to pick up uh, different patterns, and that's, that's why I love going out to the field. Every time I go and dive, I, I see different things, and I get to pick up on different patterns, and I start questioning it, and then we dig deeper and we find out more answers. The site visit called the Coral Survey. The reason why we do this is because we want to know the status or the health of the corals before they enter the hardest period uh, of the year, which is the summer, where the water temperatures reach uh, above 35 degrees Celsius. And we check for them after the summer, so we get to know how they handled that. Well, the Environment Agency has been doing this for around 10 years, and it's very, very important to keep on the same work to keep a constant record and also to track the different changes in the, these specific environments and the specific sites. And uh, throughout these surveys, we've actually learned an incredible amount of uh, information, such as, uh, yes, the corals are affected by climate change, but they're also adapting to climate change. They're managing to withstand higher temperatures throughout the year. And uh, we can also utilize that in uh, making more uh, stringent uh, strategies when it comes to conservation. So the Coral Nursery is part of the Coral Restoration Program, which is a project that was launched by EAD in 2021. The aim of this project is to basically try to rehabilitate or restore damaged reefs around Abu Dhabi waters. And the way we do that is basically we take some of the strongest corals around the, the region, specifically Abu Dhabi, and uh, try to spread their genetic diversity, genetic resilience, and damage reefs and hopefully restore them to their original ecological functions. One of the important things we keep track of is temperature and the way we do that is we use these temperature loggers. Why it's important to track temperatures because in the context of climate change it's uh, important to see whether the temperature is increasing or not especially when it comes to corals. When the temperature gets too warm too quickly, or it stays too warm for too long, the corals bleach and then that causes them to die. Well, the 
ਉੱਥੇ ਤੇ ਦੇਖੋ So we ran into a small group of uh, Indo-Pacific humpback dolphin and uh, this kind of dolphin likes to stay close on to shore. It's also uh, special that Abu Dhabi has the largest population of Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins. So it's nice to run into a small group like this in the field. Having these animals in the Gulf is a very good sign. It means that our environment is healthy enough to be able to house these animals. It's also productive enough to house large animals such as uh, dugongs and whales. It means that there's enough food and enough space and enough shelter for them to breed and grow and you know flourish in this, these environments. So it's a good sign and a good reflection of the work that we're doing as well. The thing about uh, Abu Dhabi's water is it's actually unique. Not many people uh, view it as a beautiful sea, but once you get to know it and dive in it and get to see the different animals and how they get to basically survive in what is probably the most uh, harshest and toughest sea in the world, it, uh, it's also a good reflection on our people as well as Emiratis and our, our heritage that we, before the modern age that we had to endure very tough times and very harsh conditions so it's a very nice connection i see there when with the sea and the people